Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new, I upload beauty, Bible, and lifestyle videos every week. So if any of that interests you, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so I have a different type of video for you guys today, but something that was really fun to make, and this is my morning routine. So obviously we're starting off with waking up and I get to get woken up by the sweetest kisses and hugs. And then I'll linger in the bed for a bit and then I'll hop up. And the first thing I do when I get out of bed is make the bed. Like there's no excuses. First thing I do when I get up is make my bed. So once the bed is made, it's time to head into the bathroom and just start all the cleaning up things. But um, yeah, we're just going to take our sweet time and put our little throw pillows on. And I know I look super tired and just super bothered in this video, but I am super thankful for just being able to make my bed. So the first thing I do once I get into the bathroom is I get onto my phone and I get on the Bible app and I have it start reading me my Proverbs of the day. So let's say this day was pro uh, March 13th. Then I would read Proverbs chapter 13 and I would have the phone read that to me as I'm doing, you know, like my hair, brushing my teeth and getting ready for the day. So once the bad breath has been slayed by toothpaste, it is time for us to go ahead, do our skincare, and just go ahead and do our hair. And before I start my skincare and hair, I do go ahead and get dressed between then and obviously this clip. And once we have our hair kind of with product in it, it's not fully styled, but it is time to do our makeup. And the reason I'm so far in doing my makeup is because I was out of frame for like the entire application of my makeup day in there. But yeah, the next step is doing our makeup after we fix our hair. Once our makeup is done, it's time to actually style our hair and just get it all put up and then it's time to add the finishing touches which are jewelry and that is my routine for getting ready in the morning. I do try to get ready before I even step foot into another part of the house and I try to be done before 10.30. And now that once we're done getting ready, it's time to head out into the house. Me and the boys start cleaning up and just start getting ready for breakfast. Um, and this only takes about five minutes tidying up whatever mess they have made between me getting ready and then waking up and getting dressed. I always hope that they take as long to get dressed as I do because I only take 20 to 30 minutes. Well, now that I say that out loud, that's kind of not feasible. So yeah, they kind of make a mess and fuzzy socks because we're not leaving the house and my feet are always... All right, you guys, and now that we are ready and the house is ready, it's time for breakfast, and I make each kid a different breakfast. I know somebody's gonna say I'm extra, but I do not try to fight with my kids about eating food, so I ask them every morning, what does everybody want for breakfast? And usually King and Bryson want cereal, so I'll give them cereal with a side of some kind of fruit, and Ethan always wants some kind of grain, and then I'll give him fruit with whatever, well, I guess cereal is a grain, but y'all know what I mean. Like Ethan wants pancakes, waffles, oatmeal bites, something like that. 
something heartier than what the boys want and so yeah we just go ahead and get breakfast done and then of course for me um, I like to get my breakfast on the go so I'm gonna have a protein shake and an immunity shot and then the boys have their vitamins in a gummy form and this is one of the many reasons why I opt for breakfast on the go because once I get the boys settled down with breakfast, it is time to start laundry. It's not always their laundry. I do one load of laundry a day. Today just happened to be their laundry, so I'm sorting it between lights and darks. I'm not doing whites, lights, and darks. Just light colored and dark colored because whenever I teach the boys, that's good. that's how I'm going to teach them. So that way it's, they're not so dependent on me. And Ethan does know how to do this, but I was giving him a break this day because he was obviously eating breakfast. So I started it for him and he was responsible for switching loads and helping me fold but yeah and then while we're in the laundry room we may as well go ahead and restock all of the laundry things such a small step but so important after I take the lawn start the laundry I do go ahead and get the meat out whatever we're gonna eat for dinner and get that defrosting for the night so once everybody is taken care of and all the chores are done I take care of myself mentally and spiritually and I do this by doing my read and write the word and just a little bit of journaling and some time with God so I love to start in the living room just you know just to relax my mind and kind of be comfortable within reading and writing Then we will head to the office and this is where I will spend some time reading my daily devotional and just getting ready for my afternoon work of editing. But yeah, this daily devotional has, you'll read part of it in the morning and then the other part before bed. And so yeah, that is how I start my morning, you guys. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah!